Greetings from Japan. Okay, got a small thing to look at here. This is the top wheel with the adjuster and I said before that uh, <clears throat> this part right here, you can see right in there, it's quite a bit of slack in there and I'm going to just show you how much. That's how much on that side and on that side. Now I just have to say I think this is just poor design. You look at the whole wheel overall when there's no tension on the blade I mean it moves a heck of a lot. Look up top here you can see how much it moves. Now tighten the blade up getting it pretty tight takes up most of the slack I guess but I really wonder how much that's going to move when things are going because the problem I'm having is as the blades running it kind of goes in and out I'll turn this on here you can see the blade is going kind of in and out it's going like that. It's not fluttering. It's running pretty straight. But it's kind of going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So I really don't know what I'm going to do. The other problem that I found is the bottom wheel is out of round by a fair bit. Not out of round, it's it's round but it goes in and out like that as it moves. More than enough that I can find in the dial indicator. Okay, I got the dial indicator set up here. It's zeroed or pretty darn close to it. Go around and you'll see all the way past 30 there, that's the lowest point. Go all the way back up to just right there. So I'm looking at 15 one way and 30 the other way. Now where's this top point there? So that one's out of alignment for sure sideways. That might be causing my blade to pulsate in and out I guess.